Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to Sunday Night Live, keeping it real with the Word of God. Keeping it real with the Word of God. Hallelujah. How else can we keep it but with His Word? I want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's get into an attitude of worship and prayer right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Father. Bless your holy name, Father. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Father, we ask forgiveness for anything that we said or done, Lord Jesus, that yes. is not pleasing in your sight. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank, Thank you. you, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. we ask, Father, that you just <clears throat> forgive us, Lord, of our sins, Lord Jesus, so that we can come to you holy and righteous so that we can come to you, Heavenly Father, with the right mind, with the right spirit, so that our prayers will not be hindered in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Renew your spirit in us today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Glory to your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. An attitude of worship, an attitude of prayer we exhibit right now, Lord. I thank you, Father. I magnify you, Father. I glorify you, Jesus. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you, Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, I bless your holy name. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Father. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 All that is coming into I'm about to. Okay, well, Brian and I crap. Good God to you. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. Glory to your holy name. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb of God that was saved for the sins of the world. Thank you, Jesus, that you gave your sins, hallelujah. You gave your, your life, Lord Jesus, for the sins of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Father. Glorify your name, Father, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. We worship you, Father. We honor you. We extol you. There is none like you, Jesus. Glory, glory to your name. Thank you for another Sunday night, the Sunday Night Live, keeping it real with the word of God. Glory, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God, and we want to thank you, Jesus. We want to bow down, Jesus, hallelujah, at the foot of the cross and just worship you tonight, Lord Jesus. No one came to hear from a woman or from a man, Lord Jesus. We came to hear from you, Lord Jesus. There's only some things that you can do. There's all things that you can do, Lord, and we need to hear a word from you tonight, Lord Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb of God. You are worthy, Lamb, and we just want to say thank you, Father. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise, and we just want to praise you. We want to praise you tonight. We want to magnify you. We want to glorify your word. Say, if you be lifted up, 
that you will draw all men. And Lord, we want to lift you up tonight, Lord Jesus, because you are worthy of all the honor and all the praise, Lord Jesus. We just want to praise you, Lord Jesus. We want to magnify you, Father. We want to glorify you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's so many that are not even with us this week. That was with us last week. And, Lord, we just want to thank you that we are still standing. Hallelujah. We're standing on your word, regardless of what our situation is, regardless of how things are. We bless your name, Lord. We are standing on your holy word. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. We sit at the foot of the cross tonight, Lord Jesus, just lifting you up, just magnifying you, glorifying you, Lord Jesus. There is only one God. Thank you, Jesus. One faith and one baptism. Bless you, Lord. Father, we love you, Lord. We love you tonight, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for this time that we can spend with you, Heavenly Father. We are so gracious. We are so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That we are grateful that we can spend this time with you, Heavenly Father. Father, we know that prayer is not to be a religious form of no power. It is to be effective and accurate and bring about results, Father. And that's why we're standing on your word, on your holy word. And we thank you, Lord, for your word, Father, the, your word that changes things. Your word, Father, hallelujah, that turns our Midnight in today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are an answering God, Father. We just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. We openly confess the word of God will come forth boldly and accurately during this telecast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Father. And whoever hears your word will not be able to resist the spirit, the wisdom, and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that will be spoken through the ministry of the gospel. We confess that as your word comes forth, an anointing of the Holy Spirit will cause us to open up our spiritual eyes and ears, Father, and to hear from you, Lord Jesus, from the power, hallelujah, from your power, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Open up our spiritual eyes and ears. Father, that we can see what it is that you would have us to see, that we can hear, Lord. Father, hear from you, Jesus. Hear a word from you tonight, Lord Jesus. We commit this meeting to you, Father. We deposit into your charge and trusting this meeting and whoever hears and the people who will get to your protection and your care. We commend this meeting to the word, the commands and counsels and promises of your unmerited favor. Father, we know that your word is here to build us up and to cause us to realize that we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ who sits at the right hand of the Father praying and pleading for us daily. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that we are from a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your name. We believe, Father, that as your word comes forth, an anointing will cause us, Lord Jesus, to be completely submitted to the Holy Spirit. For the word of God that is spoken is alive, is full of power. It is active, operative, energizing, and effective. Your word will do what you said it will do. Your word is a two-edged sword. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your word, Lord Jesus. That's what we stand on, your word, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to your name. Glory to your holy name. Bless you, Father. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus.
Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Your word said, where two or more gathered in your name, there you will be in the midst of us. Come, Holy Spirit. Now, Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Glory to your name. There's so many people wish they were in our position tonight, Father, that they can come and lift up your holy name. Oh, my God. But they are being threatened, Lord Jesus. And we just stand in for all of those tonight, Lord Jesus that are in that position that can't even lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, have mercy. Have mercy on that little 15-year-old girl, Leah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. On Anita in Panama, thank you, Jesus. Open up her heart so when we speak to her, she will hear from the Holy Ghost. She will no longer hear the voices that she's been hearing, but she will hear from you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, and decide to turn our life around, Lord Jesus, and begin to worship you again. Glory to your name. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We bless you, Lord. We magnify you, Father. We glorify you, Father. You are such a worthy lamb. Worthy is the lamb. He's got a little bullshit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Move, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will wound for our transgressions, bruise for our iniquities, and chastisement of our peace is upon you. And by your stripes, we are healed of all sickness, illness, and disease. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. There is none like you, Father. We come to lift you up. Your word said, if you be lifted up, you will draw all men. Father, we want to lift you up so that you do the drawing, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for sending people, hallelujah, on this prayer line to worship and honor you, Lord Jesus. From the north, south, east, and west, over hills, over mountains, Lord Jesus. Over rivers, Lord Jesus. You send them over oceans, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless all our friends in the islands, Mother Josephine in Belize, Lord Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over that nation, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God, over Puerto Rico, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over that nation, Lord Jesus. Over Cuba, Lord Jesus. They've had a change in the ranks, Lord Jesus. After eons of years, uh, God, thank you, Jesus. Let some doors open up for them, Father, that were formerly closed. Thank you, Jesus, for closing some doors, Jesus. The Communist Party, Lord Jesus, bring wrath down upon those that do not just want to love one another in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the people seek you, Father, and your righteousness, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Haiti, Lord Jesus. Change the name of that nation, Lord. Change it, Lord Jesus, and change the situation there in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Father. All over Africa, Lord Jesus, that Boko Raton, Boko Harim, hateful mongers of death, followers of Satan, their father, Lord Jesus, bring them down, destroy them that they no longer, Father, will be attacking and killing and persecuting your children, Lord Jesus. Persecuting your children. Your word says 
Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. Oh God, oh God, the people suffer, Lord Jesus, for lack, Jesus. They need you, Father. They need you. We stand together tonight with them, Lord, as they plead their blood and they beg for help, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, where there was a sinner that was right next to you, and all he asked, Lord Jesus, was to be with you, and it was no problem that you would tell him that he would be in the kingdom of God with you that night, Lord Jesus. If you did it for him, I know you can do it for us. Our nation in this United States of America, which was a God-fearing nation, Lord Jesus. Lord, I ask forgiveness. I repent for the nation, Lord Jesus, who have turned their back, Lord Jesus. And, and foul and disgusting things are happening now, Heavenly Father. Oh, Father, I repent, God, for our nation, for our leaders, Lord Jesus, that are so out of touch with you, Heavenly Father, out of touch with your word, Lord Jesus, that your word become the law of the land once more in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them wisdom, the leaders, Father. Give them godly wisdom, Lord Jesus. And for those who are on the fence, Lord, and not sure, Jesus, Give them something to hold on to, to tip them over, Father, that they be steeped in the blood of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. I magnify you, Father. I glorify you in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. We thank you for Sunday Night Live, keeping it real with the word of God. This is Reverend Dr. Peggy Turner on the line. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, God bless you. God bless you. Anybody out there? <clears throat> Hello. I know there's somebody, but I can't hear any words. Thank hey, you, praise Jesus. the Lord. Praise the Lord. I can hear you. I can hear yes. you. Yes. Why can't I, I see you? Know. you? I don't know. Why can't I see you? Did I don't you pray know. To do it the same way you did? Yeah. Did you do and it, cut, it cut me off. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm glad that yeah. I can hear your voice. God bless you. Yeah. I got a call, to, I got a call tonight from Sister uh, Maria, and she had an emergency, and she won't be able to be with us, but she told me to give her love to everyone who is here. Oh, God bless. Yeah. Well, Sister Tina, do you have anything you'd like to say? I just want to thank God for yet keeping me another, get me through another week. And um, Praise God. I just tell you, it's just you ask God for things, and yeah. just because you don't see the manifestation immediately, you know, desires in my heart that was in my heart, oh, God, I probably say about at least 20 years ago. 15 years wow. ago, I see him, I see the manifestation of something, you know, coming into fruition. I just thank him because I haven't been, I have, it's not because of me. I haven't been, I haven't always been faithful, but he's so faithful. He's so just. He's so loving. It's like the little things, the little things um, that, that he does. It's, it's amazing to me because we look to God, I look to God and I'm like, I see things that I recognize what's out of my power, so then it's easy for me to say, God, you know, to trust God to do it. But he loves us so much. Like, it's just the the very, very least of the things, the smallest things. He just line up, and and um, I'm so, so very grateful. Um, and he's just been looking after my family, and I, I thank you for that. I've been pleading the blood of Jesus over my family, over my husband, over my children, and he's just over my mother. He's just been showing up and being God. So I'm like, Lord, if we just, God, if we just sell all the way, all the way out, I mean, not like you just look at every, you know, oh, what you going to do now, God, look what I did, because you can never measure up. But I'm just saying, God, if we was strong enough just to stand through everything. So I'm learning when things are challenging just to be quiet, 
be quiet yeah. so that I don't sin against God until yeah. I can get back into um, the the mindset to pray. So I know that was long with it, but I just want to thank the Lord, and I want him to hear me. And I know he see my heart, but I just I love him, and I thank him. I thank you for every opportunity. I thank you for every struggle because it's helped me understand um, what he, how he's positioning me, um, yes. you know. So I, I thank you, and I just love him, and I just, I'm just happy today. Praise the Lord. And I'm happy to be on the prayer line tonight. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm happy to have you on the prayer line, and don't ever apologize for being long-winded. I know I tease you all the time, but that's just a tease, girl. You go on and you give God all the honor and all the glory. It's okay. It's okay. Because it's not about me. It's not about anybody but your relationship with Christ Jesus. And when you give your testimony, you have no idea how that blesses other people. Because there are people with no hope, and and they think that because it didn't happen immediately, it will never happen. But some of the things you said just now just was so encouraging, you know, to somebody, and also encouraging to me. So I thank you for your testimony, because this is what I always say. We can come on here and pray and pray and pray and cry and all that good stuff. But see, if we don't see the manifestation of our prayers, what are we praying for? Hallelujah. And so when we come and we testify, that's showing everybody, that's showing the world, this is what God is doing for me because I prayed in Jesus' name. I believed in Jesus Christ. And God opened up doors that I thought were closed. Amen. I love to hear good Amen. testimony. I love to hear good testimony. Yep. Well, I have a testimony <laughs> because I am just, um, my mind is just made up that we are moving into the 21st century with everybody else as far as technology because God created all of this. And so I um, bought microphones and I bought the camera and I thank you all for sewing because that's what does it, I tell you. And um, I wasn't able to get the mic up the way I should have or wanted to, but then I, the camera came and I couldn't believe it. I was so happy. And I was able to get that up and going. And it has its own speaker, so I hope you all are hearing me pretty well because I'm hearing you and it sounds great. And um, I have a new picture up. It shows everything, everything. <laughs> So I had to put on some makeup and fix myself up today because I tell you, the other camera, it was through the computer. You couldn't really see that well. And um, But this one, mm -mm, you can see everything. So I just thank God. I thank God for um, the knowledge that I'm able to keep up with the technology to bless the saints. It's not just for myself or a show-off thing, but this is to bless the sense that we operate in excellence in everything that we do. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, anyone else? I don't think we have anyone else today. You know, um, I just ask constantly for prayer because my, I'm going through so much with my body but I believe that God is going to heal me from my head down to my feet. Every week is like a new situation. But um, just now I was having some pain. And while you were testifying, I was just praying in the Holy Ghost. And God just moved that pain right on the way just now. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Um, tonight I want to talk to you about the title would be The Lord is my shepherd. He is my shepherd. But see, for him to be our shepherd, we have to know who we are. We are his sheep. Sheep follow the shepherd because the shepherd keeps them safe. The shepherd keeps the wolf away from the sheep. Wow, the shepherd yeah. keeps the sheep together so that they can be safe. They can 
They won't get lost. They get lost. The shepherd will send the dog out to go and gather and bring them back. Because the shepherd's in charge of the dogs too, okay? <laughs> so he has a shepherd dog that will go and help him gather the sheep. So I thank God. I thank God because he is my shepherd. But if he's your shepherd, then we need to bow down to the shepherd. We need to give honor to the shepherd. We want to hear the shepherd's voice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, they were talking today about hearing the voice of God. And the way you do that, many people have many different ways of, of giving you that information, but my way is to, to strengthen your relationship. Strengthen your relationship. And that's by getting into his word. When you get into his word, you begin to know him better. You begin to understand him better. And what he puts down in you by studying his word, the Holy Spirit will bring it out. Amen? Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So um, I'm just going to talk to you for a few minutes about the Lord is my shepherd. I'm, I have two um, scriptures there. You can write them down and look at them later on. One you know pretty well, and that's Psalm 23. I'm trying to read without my glasses. Let me tell you what God has done. It's like things that I can read without my glasses. And I'm like, wow, wow. And little, little bitty prick. I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I'm going to read some more. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. And you know, that's just peace. He just keeps me in peace. He restores my soul. You know, sometimes your soul is upset and not going and moving and doing what you would like it to do because you have taken on so much of the world's cares and worries. But he can restore your soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through a valley of shadow of, of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. So regardless of what you're going through, don't ever think you're by yourself. That's what the enemy would try to have you believe, that you're all by yourself. Nobody else is going through this. This is the most horrible thing. Don't tell anybody because you'll be humiliated. And all of that is a lie from Satan. A liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire. Yes, sir. Because God promised him a lake of fire. That's, that's Satan's promise. Our promise is to be with God and have eternal life. Satan's promise is a, a lake of fire. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. He's such a liar. He's such a liar. Don't believe the lie. So going back to the first verse, the Lord is my shepherd. And then the next one I want to talk to you about is in the book of John. John 10. Fourteen, John chapter 10, verse 14. And this is Jesus talking. In my Bible, it's in red. That means Jesus is talking. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of my sheep. As going down to verse 15, as the Father knoweth me, so Jesus is saying, as God knows me, even so, I know the Father. I know my Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. That's Jesus. He's the good shepherd. He's the good shepherd. And we want to hear God's voice. And I'm going to share something with you. Some of you may have heard this. 
but it's always good to share it again. This is another part of my testimony. I was in a very um, violent, domestic violence situation, lifestyle, and it got to the point where I decided I wasn't going to have that any longer. It, my children didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve it. So I, my, my trend of thought at the time was to stop it, but the only way I could stop it was to stop him, stop him from breathing, stop him from life. So I prepared for murder. I prepared for life, but I was determined it would not be my life. I sent my children away so they were safe, and then I, I would dress up every night with clean clothes and have clean clothes at the foot of my bed, and I had my weapons. I had a big, sharp butcher knife, and I had a, um, a lead pipe that was filled with lead. So whenever that time came that I could defend myself, but I was going to defend myself to the end, to murder, because we were not going back to this again. And that, that's, I was like convinced. My mind was totally convinced on this is the way it was going to be. I had a plan. I had a plan. That, I mean, obviously that was a plan. If you want to talk about premeditated murder, that was premeditated. I planned, I sent my way to, it was a good time to send my kids away in school, so I sent them away. Then I, I prepared, had my clothes all ready, had my weapons all ready. Um, every night I would take a good shower because I didn't know if I would be able to shower the next day or whatever. But I, my mind was made up. I had a satanic plan for murder. I felt justified because of the things that had happened to me. So that's all I could hear was murder. And this is the way we're going to do it. And when that night came and um, he began to um, attack my door, ram the door and throw rocks at the window going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And as he went back and forth, to pick up rocks to throw at the window and then get something to ram the door, I heard a voice. It said, get out. Get out. And I was like, who is that? Who is that? Later on, I learned that it was the voice of God. I didn't know that. But God will speak to you because he said his sheep are his. But then there's some that are Kids that are not of the fold yet. But they still belong to him. We belong to God. You can't change our DNA with Jesus. He died for us. Hear his voice. All you have to do is pay attention. I didn't have a relationship. I wasn't building a relationship. I wasn't even going to church. I wasn't reading my Bible. But God spoke to me. He said, get out. Get out. And I heard it. I was like, who is this talking to me? Stop talking to me. I have a plan. I can't do this. I'm having this verbal conversation while this crazy man is going back and forth, back and forth, ramming the door and breaking the windows. And I'm having this verbal conversation with a voice. He says, I'm here today. We see who won, the voice of God. And the last time this man went down to break a window, the voice said, get out now. Plain, clear, and loud enough for me to hear it. And I ran out the door, and I have a double lock, so I locked the door back, and I stood in the middle of the hallway because there are two entrance two ways up. So I could hear him coming, and when I heard him coming up on the left, I went down and I ran out into the street on the right. And the police, by this time, the police were coming. That's what saved me. Saved me. I could still be in prison today. Or oh, I've been in prison. My children could have been raised by strangers. 
But God said, no. God said, get out. I heard his voice. No one had ever spoken to me about that. I didn't know anything about that. But obedience is better than sacrifice. I heard and I obeyed. I felt like I couldn't do anything else but obey. He said, get out. And it was time for me to get out because he was trying to save my life so that I wouldn't be a murderer. Although there was justification, it still would have made me a murderer. And God didn't want that for me. He didn't want that for me. He didn't want my children shifted off and treated badly and my whole life turned upside down. He didn't want that for me. He didn't want, that was not what he wanted for me. But he loved me enough to speak. And I could say I loved him enough to obey, but I just obeyed. I heard the voice and I said, okay. And I thank him this day. So when God speaks, he's not just speaking. He's speaking for you to obey his word. If you're not used to hearing that voice, spend some more time with him. Prayer is a two-way thing. It's not a lecture where you just lecture God on, you know, the prayers. He already knows those prayers. He wrote them. You sit down and you pray to God and then you listen for him to speak into your life. And not just speak what you want to hear, but speak into your life a godly word that is righteous for your life. God is my shepherd. He is my shepherd. He's my shepherd before I knew he was my shepherd. He was still my shepherd. When I wasn't worshiping him, he was my shepherd. When I wasn't calling his name, he was my shepherd. When I wouldn't even go into his house, he was my shepherd. When I was still cussing, fussing, and doing all kinds of things, he was still my shepherd. That's why he said, my sheep, some of them are not even in the house yet, but they're still mine. God loves you. He loves you. He wished no harm to you. All God wants is the best. And sometimes we think, oh, I have to do this because I'm a Christian. No, you have to do this because God requests that you do it. He requests. I said request because you know what? He doesn't make us do anything. You want to be saved? You can be saved. If you don't want to, then you just don't want to. But if you want to be saved, if you want to follow Jesus, that's a choice that he gives us. He gives us a choice. He gives us a choice. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the choice, the choices that you do give us. And I thank you, Lord, for that night. That, that murderous night that I could have went to jail for the rest of my life. My children could have been shipped off to God knows where, and a man could have been dead. And I would have been hanging over my life for the rest of my life. But God stopped everything in motion and said, no, get out. And then the rest he did. The rest he did. He pulled the police together. I didn't have my phone wasn't even working. He pulled the police together. He pulled everything else together. He just put everything else in line. And I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. Hallelujah. That's my testimony. But remember, the Lord is your shepherd, whether you worship him or not. He loves you more than you love him. He loves you like that. He is your shepherd. Yes, he is. He proves he's your shepherd every day. 
You think it's that alarm clock that wakes you up? You think it's the kiss of your husband or your wife that wakes you up or your kids running there making all that noise? Take all that stuff down to the morgue and see who wake up there. The Lord is our shepherd. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For wisdom. I thank you, Lord, for intelligence. I thank you, Lord, for revelation. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for discernment. I thank you, Lord, for our relationship. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we're rounding out our hour for this Sunday night. But I never, ever want to give up without or close out without offering somebody Jesus. Somebody. I don't know where this cloud meeting will end up. I don't know who will hear it. But if you do, I want you to know that Jesus loves you and he wants you to come on home. Now, if you're in a backslidden position, you know the word just as well as we do. All you have to do is confess your sins to Christ and come on home. Come on home. And if you never confess your sins to Jesus, if you've never been saved and you want him to be in your life, then what you need to do is confess with your heart, confess with your mouth, and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. He is the Son of God. We're going to do that right now. If that's you, repeat after me, please. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I ask forgiveness for my sins. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He died for me and rose again. He left the Holy Spirit until he returns. And I thank you, Lord. By faith, I believe that I am saved. By faith, I believe that I am in welcomed into the kingdom of God. I want to live for you and you only. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 The angels of God are cheering for you. Yes, yes, yes. The word of God said the angels cheer for one soul. One. And that's you. They're cheering for you tonight. They are so happy that you made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please contact me. I want to give you some information about your salvation. And it's about your relationship, really, with Christ Jesus. It's not to join a church or a ministry, but your relationship with Christ Jesus. Of course you need to get into a church because you need to be taught. But you need to get into a place that carries a Bible. They, everybody carry a Bible. The pastor is preaching from the Word of God. And you see the Word of God going forth with integrity. But the main thing you need to do is develop a relationship with your Heavenly Father. Amen. Please contact me um, by email, and that's PeggyTurner140 at gmail.com. PeggyTurner140 at gmail.com. I love you guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Anything else? Anything? Anything? Everything. <laughs> Silas is golden, so I guess that means nothing. <laughs> Everybody is complete. It doesn't mean nothing, but everyone is complete. Hallelujah. Sometimes people just want to sit there and listen and be up under the word of God. And that's good, too. All of that's good. I want to thank you for calling in tonight. God bless you. I wish you have the best week of your life. 
miracles manifest in your life. No weapon formed against you will prosper. God sent his angels to cover you, keep you safe in all areas. I thank you, Jesus, for my brothers and sisters that are lined up with the word of God on Sunday night live, keeping it real with the word of God. Hallelujah. Remember, your future is greater than your past. Stay connected. Stay faithful. And remember, God loves you. And I love you, too. God bless you all. God bless you, too. Thank you. Have a great week. Thank you. You have a great week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.